<laughs> hey guys, got a cool little video for you today. I'm at my base camp. I'm going to be building a chair to put at my fire pit. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. Um, after we're done the chair, we'll probably cook up some food and then just relax. Thanks for joining. I also have a gear review to do. Um, I picked up a new axe, camp axe, um, off Amazon. Figured I'd go ahead and uh, bring it down with me and try it out and give you guys a little review on it. Um, it was real cheap, but we'll get into that more later. Also, if you saw in the uh, the opening of the video, there was a knife, and I'll, we'll get more into that later too. Pretty excited about that. All right, so here's the fire pit that was, uh, this was built probably three, four weeks ago. I uh, brought my brother and his family down here for a little camping trip. Um, so we built this, so now I'm gonna make a chair so I can sit right here and tend to the fire, just kind of chill by the fire. I'll eventually make two, but one should be good enough for right now. I've got five long poles over here. I'm gonna go ahead and construct the tripod I'm going to do it the same way I built the tripod for my uh, cook pit, my fire pit. So yeah, we're going to do that and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to construct the actual chair itself. So right now I'm just going to be building the base of the chair, which is a tri tripod. Alright, so change of plans. I'm actually not going to be building a base for this. I remember seeing on YouTube where you can just take a log and wrap it in, you know, cloth, whatever you want to use for your seat, and hang it from the top of the tripod, which will give you like a kind of like a recliner type chair. So I think I'm going to do that. So I brought my hammock with me. wasn't sure if I was going to come down the base camp today or if I was just going to go hike out into the woods. So I'm going to get my hammock out and see if I can't make this chair work. And then if it does work, I will eventually make a piece of material that I can carry with me in my pack to bring down here so I can just, so it's not a permanent chair. I can, it'll be easy to move around because I don't want a base to where, like, say I want to move the chair over here. I don't want a base and then build the chair and then basically the structure. I don't want to have to move all that around. With this, I can take the piece of material down, fold up the tripod, and move it wherever I want. So I think that'll be a lot better. Let me go get my hammock. Alright, so here's the hammock. Again, this is just for testing only. I'm not, this isn't going to be how I'm going to be doing it permanently. I just want to see if this is actually going to work. All right, guys, <laughs> here it is. I mean, it's not the prettiest in the world. Uh, so what I did is I just lashed this on here. So like this can be easily taken down. Like I said, if I want to move it. Um, this is the hammock. I just rolled it up on this log and then tied it off up there. So let's give it the old uh, sit test. <laughs> See if this thing's going to hold me or not. Cross our fingers. Oh, yeah up off the ground. So yeah, this is nice. I'm definitely going to have to make a piece of material for this and uh, just pack it with me so that way I can take it in and out. I don't want to leave it down here because it would probably get ruined by the weather and everything. So, Alright, I'm happy with this. So let's, uh, let's get some wood processed up. I'm going to build a small fire, cook me some food, and then uh, relax a little bit and then hike on out of here. I said I had a a piece of gear that I wanted to review for you guys. I picked this up off of Amazon. Uh, some of you guys might recognize it. It's a, a camp axe made by Marbles. Um, it's 1084 high carbon steel, so which is which is a plus. I, mean, I can use it with my ferro rod if I need to or whatever. Um, I haven't done anything to this. This is basically right out of the box. I brought it in with me, so. 
judging by the edge, I mean, it's, it feels pretty sharp, so we'll see. It's not too heavy. It's pretty well balanced, you know. So, yeah, I'm, you can you can get one of these for like 36 bucks, I think, shipped. I mean, if you're a Prime member, obviously you get free shipping. But I mean, I, we'll see. We'll see if it's worth it. I think it. I think it's actually going to be a nice little um, camp axe. I'm going to be putting a uh, leather guard right here. I'm going to make a leather guard from here to here, just to uh, give it that little extra nice look to it. But yeah, so we're going to be using this in the video. Again, it's made by Marbles for for those of you that don't know. Uh, let's see if we can see if we can get the logo on here. Yeah, there you go, Marbles. I really like the finish on this. It's like a, it's, I don't know if it's a coating, but it's really nice. It's got like the pitted look to it. The handle's made from hickory. Um, it's pretty nice grain too. I'll probably end up doing something to the handle too. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, 36 bucks Amazon. So we'll see how this does. All right. So about the knife in the, uh, the, the first part of the video, um, this knife is actually one that I made for myself. Um, for those, <clears throat> excuse me, for those of you that have been watching my video, um, you probably noticed that I carried around a Gerber for the longest time. So I've never really thought about making a knife for myself. I've always made them for other people, you know, friends, family, you know, or whatever. So I decided to make myself one, and this is the results. I've been using this thing like crazy. So, this is 1095 steel, um, the handles are oak, they've been treated, and uh, I gave them an oil finish. It's a Scandinavian grind knife, fits well in the hands, I don't know if you can see the, there you go, the handle shape. It's nice and rounded. Fits great in the hand. Uh, the blade is, I'm gonna say, probably four inches long. Handle's probably about four and a half inches long. And like I said, there's, there's, it's already started to. It's, it's almost like a patina on it, like a forced patina on the blade. I don't know if it's picking it up. I've been slicing um, everything with this thing. Tomatoes. Potatoes. I like I like the patina look so yeah as far as sharpness this thing is razor sharp I mean let's see if we can split down one of these and do some feather sticking we're gonna use the, the axe there we go this woods wet we range here the past couple days so I'm going to do some feather sticking here. I mean, nice long curls. We can get real tiny ones. But yeah, this thing's really, really sharp. Um, this particular knife is actually one so this particular knife is actually one that I uh, I offer, I make for people. Um, this knife right here, 50 bucks without a sheath. Um, that's how much I'd charge for this one. And I mean, like I said, it's it's pretty decent quality. Here's the sheath I made for it. It's a black sheath. It's not finished yet. I'm I just. It's it's about it's almost done. Still got to you know touch up the edges and stuff like that, burnish the edges. Um, the sheath is actually you can clip it to your belt, but I also made it to where this comes off. If I just want to carry it in my pack, I don't have to carry it on my belt. So, and um, for people that are concerned that this is going to fall off, I mean I've I've been hiking around all day with this thing and it hasn't fell. Off. I mean I've been snagged on bushes, trees, you know whatnot. But yeah, that's the knife. Um, what else? Oh, the pins. The pins are uh, nickel, silver pins. Again, it's 1095 steel. High carbon. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, 
So this is the knife you'll see be seeing me use in my future videos. All right, let's get onto this fire and uh, cook up some food. I'm getting kind of hungry. All right, so let's uh, show some show this knife in action. I'm gonna baton down some wood, and then I'm gonna feather stick it out to get my fire started for to cook my food. Um, what did I bring? So this is what I bought brought. This is what I brought today for to eat before I hike out of here. It's just simple, easy. Um, I hadn't, didn't plan on being on being in here all night, all evening. So eat some, enjoy this. I'm gonna cook that up with my little hobo stove cook kit that I made. There's a video on that. So let's uh, let's show this knife in action. I'm sure. I mean, why why show off a knife if you're not gonna show? Why show off a knife if you're not gonna show using it, right? So let me get you guys set up here, and then we'll uh, baton out some some wood, and then we'll feather stick it out, and then we'll get get a fire going. All right, let's show this thing in action, huh? So we'll start with small first. We don't want to get too crazy. Baton this down. I know a lot of people don't like batoning the knives, but I do. I mean, I don't. It doesn't bother me. I'm confident. Man, this wood is really wet. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Wood is seriously wet. Hopefully, we can get this going. Everything's super wet. Oh, I didn't mention the, the blade itself is actually eighth inch thick. Um, so, let's see if we can't get some feather sticks going here. Oh yeah, look at that. Split through this and then steel sharp as a razor. Look at those nice curls. Granted, I am not the best feather sticker in the world. We all know this. But having a really sharp knife actually helps a lot. I'm probably going to have to break out the old fat wood to get this fire going. Really going to have to go collect some small. So yeah, I mean, so it'll baton, it'll feather stick, I know it'll slice, but yeah, that's my little knife there. 90 degree spine, make it easy to uh, strike on the, the ferro rod, and the sheath, the uh, retention on the sheath is great, so let's bring you guys back up here. So yeah, see, I mean, even that right there, the belt clip, easy to pull it off the belt if I need to and shove it in my pack. But yeah, the retention on this thing, actually, should I do it like that? So yeah, the retention on the sheath is very good. Um, this is actually the third sheath I've made. Well, second if you count making them for knives that I've made for myself. So, But I'm going to continue processing this wood up. I'm going to baton down some more and then get some more feather sticks. Break out the fat wood and try to get a fire going so I can cook my food on. Um, probably I'll get my cook kit set up too. So I'll get back with you guys. Alright, so we're going to use the cook kit. Got the nesting cup. Pot and stove. Or sorry. Pot and stove. <laughs> All right, fire's been boiling, or fire's been boiling. The fire's been going for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and set the pot on there while I've got good flames. We're gonna let this thing cook up. Shouldn't take any time for that to get going. I mean, you can see the smoke pouring out of it now. Of course, it's gonna get me in the face. So yeah, I'm going to tidy up camp a little bit because as soon as I'm uh, done eating, I'm going to hike out of here with the dogs. But yeah, overall today, 
pretty happy with that chair. I've been down here, you know, a couple hours. I did relax a little bit before I started working on the chair. But I'm definitely going to be making a piece of cloth that I can carry with me. Maybe something with a loop on the end to slide through the, the actual cloth and then, like I said, tie it off on the top to uh, be able to, you know, carry in with me. So. Oh, sorry guys, fogging up the lens here. Okay, so it's been probably about six or seven minutes, maybe eight minutes. And this is already at a rolling boil, so I'm going to go ahead and take this and add it to my noodles. Alright, so the water has been boiling for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the noodles. There's seasoning packets in here, I believe, yeah. And like some vegetables or whatever, so we'll add that after we pour the water in. Do it in a way that we don't burn the crap out of ourselves. So there's that. Got a little bit of water left over. I'm going to add the old seasoning packet. A lot of seasoning for a little bowl of noodles, but we'll see. Get all that goodness in there. Get over here and get my spoon. The flavor of this is... Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> I can't really pronounce that word. I guess it's like a miso type soup. Cannot pronounce the word, but it looks really good. So we'll let that sit. Let those noodles marinate, and I'm going to go ahead and clean up camp, eat, and then hike on out of here. Alright guys, I think the noodles are ready. <clears throat> One of my dogs, he must have licked a toad or something, like a frog or a toad. He's foaming at the mouth. I've seen him do it before when he's, it, I guess there's some type of poison on the frogs that uh, they secrete. But yeah, he's foaming at the mouth, it's hilarious. You'd figure he'd learn after the first time, but nope. So let's give these noodles a try. Taste the broth first. Oh, that's pretty good. I would have been better off with a fork. Didn't bring a fork. Excuse the slurping, guys. Pretty hot. So, but yeah, they're good. All right, well, I'm going to finish up my dinner, probably relax for a little bit longer, maybe like 10, 15, 20 minutes before I have to hike up this big hill. Um, I want to thank all you guys again. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for sharing the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You know, the more the merrier. Um, the next video will probably be the winner of the giveaway. So keep your eye. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to, I'm probably going to do that live and then post it. So keep your eye out for the uh, the winner the winner announcement. Take it easy, guys.